My uh, greatest memory of Olivia is really uh, when she was first born. Um, you have to excuse me, but uh, uh, she, uh, when the doctor pulled her out of her mom, um, she had a, the doctor dropped her back in for a, for a brief moment, but it was long enough that she inhaled uh, the uh, whatever fluid and, and uh, she really couldn't breathe. But I was so proud of her because I got her first. She still had all sorts of, you know, she still needed to be cleaned up. And uh, so I was taking her around and I showed her to my mom and everything and the poor girl couldn't breathe. So by the time we got around to the uh, place where the nurses took care of her, um, she needed some clearing of her throat and maybe some oxygen. I saw her, you know, for the first time and I was so proud at that moment. And uh, I, I uh, would have to say that would be my greatest memory of Olivia. Congratulations, Olivia and Wesley. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you guys found each other. And I just pray to God that you guys treat each other and hold each other for the rest of your lives. And, uh, and remember your faith and keep that strong. There's this one time she would always get words mixed up and uh, she would always say a word in the wrong context, you know. And one time she burped, she said, ooh, I farted in my mouth. That was a funny one. Olivia and Wes, I know that you both have been through some trials to get here, but you finally found each other and the right one. And I'm so happy to have Wes in our family and I think everything's going to be great. Coming out of church when he was a little boy, probably in kindergarten or younger, and we had a flat tire, and he was so interested in why the sun melted the tire. I've always remembered that, and uh, I was thinking about it earlier today. Something that he worked very hard for, and it was when we walked out of the complex after he signed his letter of intent with Coach Snyder. And uh, that was just a fabulous day. It was a tremendous opportunity after he worked so hard to earn it. So congratulations on that day, Wes, and congratulations on all the success that you've had since then. Right, congratulations to both of you. It's a fabulous day. You've worked so hard for this day, and we're so very excited for it. Wesley, I can still remember the day I found out that you were going to be born, and I've prayed for you every day uh, since then. And Olivia, I, I now embrace you and welcome you to our family as our newest uh, daughter, and I want you to know that we have prayed for you just about every day, just about as many times as we prayed for Wesley growing up. We're excited for you. You guys are awesome. God has fabulous things. And if you cover even a fraction of the ground in the next lifetime together that you've covered in the last couple years together, you're going to do incredible things. So we're proud of you. We love you. Keep up the good work. You know, there's a lot of things I can and won't say about you, but I do want to say that I love you and you and Olivia alone because you're great human beings that I couldn't live my life without. And San Antonio D and I both can say the same thing. And, you know, from being on the completely different opposite side of the country, just to living our lives together. I mean, I, I wouldn't spend this time without anybody else. I will say though, that I will watch your dogs, but I'm not gonna watch your cats. Can't do that, I'm not gonna do it. I, I think about those times on the football field um, at LA East, and I, I really cherish them. Um, thanks for um, pushing me to be my best uh, in football and, and also just pushing yourself to do new things, man. I, I love you and um, yeah, don't ever lose that. So continue to inspire people to be bold. So appreciate it. Vivian Wes, he goes without saying, I'm sure you've, you've heard a hundred times tonight, but um, yeah, you guys are perfect for each other and, and I'm, I'm so happy um, to, to be here with you guys tonight, um, despite the jet lag, but no, you, you, um, I wouldn't have missed it. I've, I've, ever since the first time I met uh, both of you, um, it, it's, been, it's been unforgettable to, to uh, be friends with you and I look forward to a, 
um, a long friendship and, and most importantly, um, your guys' long life together. I, I really um, am happy for you guys and um, I love you guys. So um, enjoy tonight and um, enjoy the future. So thanks. Olivia, ever since we met, there's been some something about you that's always drawn me to you um, ever since the first day we met at Rooted. Then uh, it was, I could tell you were very driven and desiring to know the Lord and very intelligent with it to the point where it was intimidating to me, but uh, drew me to you. Later, uh, when we got connected again, I saw you be so connected to your campers and really dive into their lives. It, that was such an attractive and honorable thing to me that I just drew, drew me towards you no matter what. And then on top of that, uh, your creative ability was really showcased and uh, I thought that was wonderful. Um, yeah. Now, watching you in everyday life be the most confident, compassionate person who doesn't take anything from anybody uh, has drawn me closer to you even more. Um, all these things I believe uh, that you have shown and, and drawn me to you will make us a well-rounded couple for all the problems that life will throw at us. Um, because you have all the strengths that I need. And uh, yeah, I'm so thankful to have met you, Olivia. I lived a great life, but by far you're the biggest blessing I've ever had. You're my best friend, and I cannot wait to see what life has for us. Uh, my promise is to you. I promise to always look at you the same way I did with desire as our first date. Uh, I promise to always bother you while you're cooking and to always do all the blue jobs in the house. I promise to be a present patient, a parent with our dogs, knowing that it's a training for our future um, when we have children. I promise to pray for you, to encourage your dreams, and to help you be the woman that God created you to be. I promise to always listen first and then speak. <laughs> I, promise, I promise to always keep your secrets. I promise to always honor you with all that I do. P.S. I care about you. Wesley, when I first laid eyes on you in Bible study four years ago, I thought to myself, wow, this guy is a total jock and will ruin my life. I want, <laughs> I want nothing to do with him. And as much as it pains me to say, I was wrong. <laughs> I also reflect on your biannual check-ins you'd conduct over Instagram DM, uh, realizing that it was an ever so clever tactic to gain my favor. Again, as much as it pains me to say, you win. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and as much as it's going to pain me to put my pride aside for the rest of my life and admit my wrongs, one thing that will never pain me is loving you and being loved by you because it simply comes naturally. Not because I'm good at love, but because you just make it easy. You make it easy when you wake me up on weekends with my collagen protein shake in bed, you make it easy when I'm running late for work, which is every day, <laughs> and you get my coffee for me. You make it even easier when you know exactly how I like my coffee and you execute it perfectly every time. And you make it easy when it's a cloudy overcast day and you know overcast skies give me migraines, so you have Excedrin on hand and ready at all times <laughs> to remedy my ailment. The list goes on and on of how you make it easy. But there's a reason you make it so easy, and that is because you always pay attention to the little things. This not only makes you the ideal best friend, but it makes you the most solid and reliable of partners. And so, in your never-ending efforts to serve me, this is how I promise to always serve you. I promise to always watch Wildcat Sports, mm -hmm. and to yell at horrible refs when they're clearly showing favoritism to the other team. <laughs> I promise to always support your spontaneous Tommy Bahama purchases <laughs> because you deserve to buy new things too, not just me. I promise to try and only take one new pet in per year, <laughs> but I only have to, a 50% success rate currently. I promise to try new foods you swear I'll like, even if they freak me out. And I promise to support your wild business endeavors because you and Ryan for sure are going to own that car business in the next five years. <laughs> I can just tell. But most importantly, I promise to love you. I promise to love you with Jesus Christ's love set as an example before me. 
I promise to love you enough to tell you the truth and to hold you accountable. But I promise to love you enough to extend the grace to you that I'll need back when I inevitably fail to love you like Jesus would. I promise to walk in humility and admit when I'm wrong, even if it takes a meal and a nap to get there. I promise to trust you because you are trustworthy and because you take care of things for me without fail. And lastly, I promise to help you become the man that God has called you to be and exactly the man that you want to be. My wildest adventure and my sweetest of friends, Wesley, you are a godsend and I will choose you every day for the rest of my life. I love you and let's do the darn thing. As a representation of the vows that you've shared, you've chosen to exchange rings. And Wes, I ask you to take Liv's ring and place it upon the third finger of her left hand and would repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. Will you take your ring from Wes and place it on his same finger? And repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. And with all that being said, it's my great privilege and my great honor as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to pronounce you husband and wife. And uh, if you'd like to, you can kiss your bride. <laughs> Hi kids, you know that we love you. Um, you guys have endured a lot the last year, lots of changes, and we know that you have a bright future and you're gonna make me some really cute grandbabies. I'm so pumped for you guys to be married and a little uh, bummed out that you guys don't live in Kansas City yet, but then we can all start having babies when you come back and we'll have a bunch of cousins. Love you guys.